Welcome back, cubby friends. Let's do our honeycomb handbook together. Open it up to bear hug two. Let's start by learning more about what happens to our friends Timothy and Cubby Bear. Timothy opened his honeycomb handbook. This time, he saw a C. Timothy dashed outside to find Cubby Bear. Cubby, what starts with C? Cubby rubbed his tummy. I'm thinking of a snack right now that starts with C. Cupcakes? Uh, cookies? Carrots? No, a sweet and chewy comb. A comb? You mean the comb I use on my hair? <laughs> no, silly. A honeycomb. Bees make honeycombs in their hives and fill them with honey. Yum! Cubby and Timothy set off to find a beehive. <laughs> Katie Collie ran after them. You should stay away from the beehives. You might get stung. Uh, don't worry, Katie. I think the bees are away visiting flowers today. Cubby and Timothy tiptoed to a hive. Timothy picked Cubby up so he could lift the lid. Cubby took a big sniff. Mmm, I love the smell of fresh honeycomb. Bzzz, a bee stung Cubby right on the nose. Ouch! Let's go! The bees are home, and they look mad. Cubby and Timothy ran all the way to the bakery and pushed open the door. Timothy found an ice pack and put it on Cubby's nose to help him feel better. I wish we had listened to Katie Collie. Mm, me too. Grammy Lois drizzled honey over apple slices. How about a little honey to cheer you up? Honey? Is there a beehive in here? <laughs> no, Cubby. Grammy gets the honey out of her jar. It's much easier that way. Hey, I knew something else that starts with C. Cubby starts with C. And even though you get us into trouble sometimes, you're still my very best friend in the world. Cubby smiled, and they each popped a dripping honey apple slice into their mouths. Listen, Cubby friends, I'm going to say two C words from our story today. Cubby, comb. Both Cubby and comb start with C. What sound does C make, Cubby friends? K. Can you say that sound with me? K. Now let's look in the Bible to find the most important C word of all. The Bible is God's special book. God talks to us in the Bible. Listen and tell me when you hear the word that starts with C. Romans 5, 8 says, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You're right, Cubby friends. The word Christ starts with C. Christ is another name for God's son, Jesus. We sometimes call him Christ or Jesus Christ. God sent Jesus Christ to live on earth. Jesus loved everyone. He loved children like you very much. Jesus showed his love in a big way when he died for us on the cross. Cubby friends, let's say the verse together. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus Christ never ever sinned but all of us have sinned. Something had to be done about our sin. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sin. Jesus chose to die for our sins because he loved us so much. Jesus did not stay dead, cubby friends. On the third day, Jesus Christ came alive again. Then he went back up to heaven to be with his father, God. Here's the best part. Anyone who trusts Christ as Savior can go to heaven someday and live there with him forever. Let's say our verse again. 
Romans 5, 8, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Trusting Christ as your savior means that you believe and accept Christ's death for your sin. Romans 5, 8, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Cubby friends, let's say that verse together one more time. Romans 5, 8, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Cubby, trace the letter C. What is the Bible word that starts with a C? That's right, C is for Christ. Cubbies, can you say that Bible verse to your grown-up helper all by yourself? When you've done that, have them sign in your book. Cubbies, can you review our motto with me? Jesus loves me. All by yourself now. Great job. If you've finished all four sections of your handbook so far, that's two from the Apple Acres book and two from the Honeycomb book, make sure you fill out the weekly check-in so that I can send you a patch to put on your pennant. All right? Have a great week, cubbies.